Hello. In this video, we're going to use the difference quotient with a few harder functions. Remember, the difference quotient is f of the quantity x plus h minus f of x all over h, and the condition is that h cannot equal zero. Now, in this video, we're going to use some harder functions, so we're going to actually end up with h in the denominator, and this is bad because in calculus, you're going to take the limit as h approaches zero, and you can't have h approach zero when h is in the denominator because the entire limit will go to infinity, or technically it will be undefined. So we want to get that h out of the denominator. So when we are solving this, we've got to make sure if that's one of our considerations. But another important consideration is to find f of x plus h. And here, x plus h is the input to the function. So we're going to substitute with parentheses x plus h everywhere in the original function, everywhere we see x, we're going to put in x plus h in parentheses. In fact, I'm going to put some parentheses right here. Everywhere we see x, we're going to put parentheses x plus h, close parentheses. And as we mentioned before, when we simplify, we're going to avoid leaving h as a factor in the denominator because we're going to take the limit. So let's try a couple more examples. Find the difference quotient of f of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 2. Again, the difference quotient is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, remembering that h cannot equal 0. So I'm going to substitute everywhere I see x, I'm going to substitute x plus h, and I'm going to use parentheses to do it. So let's do parentheses. This is the squared part. In fact, let me just write the parentheses first. You may get, may get a better sense minus 5 parentheses plus 2 and now I'm going to subtract the original function and I'm going to run out of room here so let me just use parentheses x squared minus 5x plus 2 and this is all in the denominator and this minus sign is in front of this entire trinomial now what goes in the parentheses here x plus h x plus h is the input into our function. So the first time we write the function, we are inputting x plus h into the function. The second time, we're just going to write the function. We're going to put a minus sign between them. So, and this is all over h. Again, h cannot equal 0. So what does this all simplify down to? Well, again, we saw in the previous video, we're going to be squaring a binomial. And to square a binomial, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. That's this binomial times itself. Gives you this trinomial. Minus, here I'm going to use the distributive property. Minus 5x minus 5h plus 2. Now this minus sign is appearing in front of this entire trinomial. So I need to subtract the entire trinomial. Minus x squared minus negative 5x. What's minus negative 5x? That's a plus 5x minus 2. And this entire expression is over h. Again, h cannot equal 0. So how does this simplify? Well, let's start pairing up, pairing up some things. I see an x squared and a minus x squared. So let's cancel those out. I see a plus 5x and a minus 5x. Let's cancel those out. Uh, do I see anything else? I see a plus 2 and a minus 2. Let's cancel those out. What am I left with? 2xh plus h squared minus 5h. I believe those are the last three terms. 2xh plus h squared minus 5h all over h. Again, h cannot equal 0. And I hope you recognize this numerator actually has h that you can be, that you could factor out, factor an h out of this numerator. So let's do that. h times the quantity 2x plus h minus 5 all over h. Again, h cannot equal 0. And what happens here? Well, these h's are going to cancel out factor of h in the numerator and h in the denominator, and I'm left with my final answer of 2x. I'm going to move that h to the end. 
2x minus 5 plus h, and h cannot equal 0. Here's my final answer. Let's try another one. This one's going to be a little tricky because we're having a fraction. So again, the difference quotient of f of x equals 1 over x is, the difference quotient again is f of x plus h, f of the quantity x plus h, minus f of x, all over h, with h not equaling 0. How do we use 1 over x? And this is going to be a little creative, but 1 over, and I'm going to just write parentheses, this is the function, 1 over x, 1 over whatever the input is. And here the input is x plus h. Now here's a minus sign, and I write the original function, f of x is 1 over x. And this whole thing is over h. So this is what we call a complex rational expression. We have a fraction, the denominator is h, but the numerator has more fractions in it. And we're going to have to simplify this down. To simplify this, we need a common denominator. I think I may have enough room up here, so let's see if we can actually do this. The common denominator of x plus h and x is x times the quantity x plus h. So I can actually multiply numerator and denominator by x, and I can multiply numerator and denominator by x plus h. So in other words, the left-hand fraction I'm multiplying by a form of 1, the right-hand fraction I'm multiplying by a form of 1. So let's rewrite what we have here. x times 1 is x. The denominator is x times the quantity, x plus h, minus, and this fraction over here, 1 times the quantity x plus h is just x plus h over the denominator of x times the quantity x plus h. And this whole thing is over h. So let's take a look at what's going to happen. Here I can uh, change my numerators. Oh, by the way, I keep forgetting to write this. h cannot equal 0. So to combine these two fractions, I can subtract this second numerator x minus the quantity x minus h. x minus the quantity x plus h. Which means x minus x, the x minus x are going to cancel out, and I'm just going to be left with a negative h. We'll write that on the next step. This is over x times the quantity x plus h. So let's subtract x minus x, that cancels out, minus uh, positive h is a negative h, all over x times the quantity x plus h, and this thing is all over h. So, how can we simplify this? This is one big fraction. This is the numerator of the fraction. This is the denominator of the fraction. And one way of simplifying this, in fact, a good way of simplifying any complex rational expression is to multiply by the reciprocal. Well, this denominator is h over 1. Let's just multiply this fraction by the reciprocal. Instead of dividing by h, we're going to multiply by 1 over h. So here we have a negative h all over x times the quantity x plus h. And we're actually going to multiply by 1 over h. In other words, to divide by h, we multiply by 1 over h. And I hope you see what's going to happen in the next step. These h's are going to cancel out. And my final answer is negative 1 over the quantity x times the quantity, x plus h. And again, the exception is x cannot equal 0.